now that George was a numbers pro, he was having a great time keeping score, watching the game, and rooting for Marco to hit a home run. Here's the pitch. Looks yeah. like it could get out of here. It's going, going. A fantastic grab oh. by the outfielder. That was the third out. Now the Tiger Babies are up. Sorry, hungry people. My mom's on the phone and I have to talk to her. I wish there was someone who could help you, but there isn't. Really? You can help? Awesome! But but first I have to see if you're qualified. It fits! You got the job. Good news, people! This very nice monkey is taking my place. I just served customer number seven, so eight is next. Hey, Mom, what's up? After seven comes eight, then nine, then ten. This was going to be easy. George had no idea what number came after that. Um, uh, hmm. Excuse me, I'm number 16. I should get my drink before 17 gets his pretzel. Huh. Hold on, you can't serve 16 before you serve 14. Huh. What about 13, monkey? Uh, 12 comes before 13. Uh, 11 is next. Calm down, people. What's the problem? Uh, he's serving us out of order. Seriously? Do you know your numbers? Cool. So what comes after 10? Well, I'll show you. It's easy. Just cover the first part of the number with your hand and look at the second part. See? One, two. So 11, then 12. <laughs> awesome. Do you want me to take over? As fun as it was to hand out popcorn, George was eager to get back to the game. Hey, kid, where you been? Um, oh, never mind that. It's clutch time. It's the last inning, bottom of the ninth. The score is tied four to four. There are two outs, and Marco's up to bat. But he hurt his foot playing shortstop, and now he can't run. Can you run the bases for him? Huh? So if I hit the ball, will you run for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kid. Let's go! This is it, folks. After two scoreless innings, it's the Cubby Bear's last chance to break the tie. Wish me luck, George. Ha ha! Here I one. Here I two. Uh, just a reminder, folks. Three strikes and you're out. Home run! I did it! I hit a home run! Oh. Oops! Run, George, run! <laughs> if bases were like everything else, then George should run them in order. First base first. Second base second. And third base third. Bring it home, kid! Bring it home! We're so proud. That was a fine hit, Marco, and a fine run, kid. Kid? There he is. Wow, this is huge. Hi there. Thanks so much for coming. Play anywhere you want. 
Adios. Hmm. Hey, maybe we should just play right here. <laughs> George is right. This room is too big. And this is like George's lobby. Too much carpet. <laughs> The food court reminded them of Pischetti's. <laughs> Once again, the lions were too loud. Finally, next to the T-Rex, the band found a perfect spot. Nice! Is it the dinosaur that makes it sound so good? George knew it wasn't the dinosaur. It was the size of the room, no carpet on the floor, and the height of the ceiling. This is a little tune we wrote called Hooray for George. have a place to play. Not since they tore down the bandstand. Oh. Hold it, hold it, hang on. This band is unique. If George is your number one fan, then I'm your number two, which is why I've just decided to build a new bandstand. And I'd like you to perform on opening day. Really? Okay, it's a deal. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to the all-new Glass Bandstand. Please welcome Lobos de Plata. Hit it, George. Thanks to the new bandstand, Lobos de Plata sounded great. Even when Hunley joined in. Everything that comes into the wastewater treatment plant gets sorted into three categories. Oh. Oils, mostly from car and truck engines. Sand and grit, from construction or sand used on icy roads in winter. And solids, that means pretty much anything else that ends up in the water. Old shoes, spare parts. Boats? Boats? They'd all be right here. <laughs> Wait, your boat's not here. It's raining. But the sanitation workers said everything that goes down the drain goes here. <laughs> it does, except during heavy rains. The system can't handle all the storm water and it overflows. <sighs> right now, the pipes and tanks are backed up, so anything on its way here isn't going to get here. <laughs> there, it goes down the river to the ocean. The ocean? How am I going to find my history homework in the ocean? If your history homework is out here, we could find it. The Albatross is a skimmer boat, 
She patrols the harbor for floatables. Like that. Floatables are what we call trash in the water that bypass the treatment plant. There sure is a lot of it. And it's almost all from people littering on the street. You see, the trash gets washed out here when it rains. Hey! Oh, that plastic ring has got a bird. Don't worry. We'll help her out and then release her. My boat? There you are. Good as new. Ah, oh, I wish I could say the same for my boat. My teacher is never going to believe my homework went down a storm drain and got destroyed. Huh. Well, I think I've used that excuse before. And then we went to the filtration plant. But the boat wasn't there because it was raining really hard. And when that happens, the stormwater and wastewater never even makes it to the plant. It all goes right to the ocean. Trash out there is called floatables, and this thing called a skimmer vessel goes and tries to clean everything up. Uh -huh. So, in conclusion, that's why my project is dirty and smelly. Oh, and ancient Egyptians used them and stuff. So, when it rains, everything goes into the ocean? That's awful. Somebody ought to figure out a way to warn people. Yeah, they should paint a model boat with an X through it on the street drains so some other kid doesn't lose his history homework like I did. And while they're at it, they should paint, like, birds and fish and, and little wavy things for water on the street drains. And then, like, paint a coffee cup with an X through it so people know not to litter because it'll end up in the ocean. Good idea, Steve. It is? Um, I mean, yeah, it is. Uh, does this mean I get extra credit? <laughs> Perhaps. This was a terrific idea for a class project, Steve. Ah. Thanks. Of course, the bad news is you won't get to be in history class with Betsy next year. <gasps> All right! Citizens of Prairieville, welcome to the ceremony for the joining of the rails. <laughs> and to drive in the last pin, Sheriff Doorman. <gasps> what? Oh, dear. I've lost the pin! Oh. Here he is! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> this was oh, awful. No. Hundley had to find that pin. <laughs> just awful about losing the pin. Hopeless.
Yes. The deputy thought she might be right. There was too much sand. Then the stranger realized all they needed was a sifter. Something with holes that would let the dirt out but keep the pin in. Hungry! <laughs> After all, what's a western without a ooh, 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 the spaghetti? <laughs> Perfect. A really big sifter. <laughs> the deputy hoped the holy bowl would save the day. <laughs> Only it didn't. The holes were too big to keep the small pin inside. Any luck finding the pin? <laughs> Last piece of pie. Sure you don't want some? <laughs> Suddenly, the stranger knew what to do. If he wanted a sifter with holes the right size, huh? <laughs> he'd have to make it himself. Luckily, he knew how big the holes needed to be. <laughs> this was bigger than the pin from the box. If the stranger used it to make holes, the pin would fall through them. But this was a perfect size nail. It would make a hole that would let the dirt out, but keep the pin in. all set up. Ah! Aw, and you saved the last pin for me. Cool! <laughs> Hundley was happy the train was back on track. This is great! And I've got the perfect name for it. Hundleyville! What do you think of that, Hundley? Uh, Hunley? Prairieville was neat and clean, had the best sheriff you've ever seen. His deputy was on the ball. Oh no, Hunley picked up a pepper. He needs water. Oh, coming right up. George? Our piñata doesn't look like a donkey. Marco was right. A donkey didn't have an extra long body and short stubby legs. But Hundley did. Ah! That's it. <laughs> Thank you for posing for us, Hundley. Hundley was thrilled dachshunds were getting the attention they deserved. help in the kitchen. Oh, this looks great. Now we just have to wait for everything to bake. Yes. But... This would be even better if we had Mommy's serving bowls and serapes. But how will you get them without Mommy noticing? We think that since Mommy loves walks, you could take her for a longer walk in the park before coming to an avenue. Now 
everything looks just the way Mommy likes it. We should have gotten her flowers. Hmm. We can make some. Won't be long now. Ah, oh, everything smells so good. What's this tasty looking stuff? Oh, glue water. I I need something to get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, maybe a pickle. Oh, 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 that, that, that was not a, a pickle. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no, look! I think it's the signal. I miss the kids. Why don't we go get them now? We'll go to a nice restaurant. <gasps> They're coming! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, 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 Everyone, hide! Uh, George? Wait! Shh. Oh, okay. Surprise! <gasps> oh my! What a wonderful surprise! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy! <laughs> and look, we made your piñata! It is beautiful. <laughs> it was a masterpiece. Dale, dale, dale. Nothing says party like a dachshund piñata. No, to the left. Oh, oh, you just missed. Just a little bit more. Oh, higher. Mother's Day ever. And I couldn't have done it without George. <laughs> <laughs>